Hi, this is Mummy, and this is my audition for Explosion Boy. My talent is in writing, and I'm going to. Oh, Chinese painting is cool. Previously on Explosion Bus, Anna makes an offer to John. While something's bothering Leo, nothing makes me feel less okay than when people ask me if I'm okay. And Wilson settles his plan. Don't do anything before I call you one more time. Um, no, there's no money right now. It's all tied up in pending ventures with the Saint Clair Group. No, wait a minute. Some of that money was mine. No, no, not yet. No, it's not. This just isn't fair. That is my money. <sighs> The explosion bus really needs money, and we need it right now. No, I know, and that's why I'd like to give you and your company some help. So you have money? Of course not. But I, I mean, and this is technical. I have access to funds as, as a, a kind of investment play. Wait. I think you should really do the right thing and let me run the bus venture. I already have John's enthusiasm. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're telling me that John would want someone other than me running the show? Um. John's already on board. Come on. We met, and, you know... He's... This is crazy talk, because John wouldn't do that to me. We are partners, all right? We're... Oh, stop it. Don't be so naive. John's a performer. They pretend. That's what they do. I cannot delete a message. What about... Uh, are you that kind of guy? Or... I don't know. There's the kind of guy who saves their messages, and the kind of guy who deletes their message. Which one are you? You know, I, I, I don't know. Whatever. I have to save everything. I, don't, I, I think I'm a hoarder. Well, here's one I should delete for sure. I don't really care. You might get a kick out of this one because sometimes, just to impress people, Leo and I pretend we have an agent in Hollywood. Why would you do that if you don't really have an agent? You know, just to create a, a misleading impression. No thanks. Who hurt that guy? His daddy. Maybe it's better that Burton didn't hear this. I'm not sure. This, there's some pretty uh, bad language in this. Yeah, let's hear it. Excuse me. Okay, you two are some sick <laughs> I would love to bend you both over my desk right now and... Wow. Do you know this guy? I love his voice. It's... Uh, uh, is that his number? Y yeah, but you know what? No, John and I are just drinking buddies, but uh, I heard your voice. So I had to call. Um... <laughs> You're funny. Do you work out? I'm really good at um, you know glute work, a lot of pelvic thrusts. A lot of... Sir, I don't know any more than you do why the explosion bus has been chosen. But having said that. I feel like the luckiest guy on earth. We don't think you were chosen. We think you are involved. No, we were chosen, and this is tricky, we were chosen to show the world yes. why something alien doesn't have to be frightening. Well, how's that going? My constituents have been calling by the thousands about farmland unattended, parents who don't want to send their kids to school. You're absolutely right. There is a deep sense of pessimism in the air. Last night, I went out for a beer with the U.S. Marshal who was assigned to me, uh, my social drinker, and I uh, believe he's in the room, standing right over there. I asked him at one point, I said, the sirens are going off, the missiles are on their way, you have 20 seconds to live, what would you do? He said, I'm going to make it with anything that moves. And he asked me what I would do, and I said, I'm going to try and keep perfectly still. <laughs> I know that um, there are things that you're not comfortable discussing. No, but, no nothing. Oh, I'm fine, John. I think we need to talk. I think there. I don't know what you think we have to talk about. Some things need to be aired out. Can I start? Yeah. I had a dream last night mm -hmm. that you killed me and threw me in a grave. Rats were eating my face. Once again, I know you don't like this question. Is there anything wrong? Nothing, John. I'm fine. <laughs> what is what is wrong then? I just feel an emptiness. Any progress with the, uh, the Italian mama? Truthfully, John, I realized that that's over. I'm not qualified to take on a talent of that dimension. I can barely uh, address myself emotionally. You mean so much to so many people. For instance, 
me. Sweet of you to say that. I don't know why you're even friends with me. The darkness that I feel, I want to just pull off my own face and look at it and go, why? You're being too hard on yourself. Not hard enough. I'm never hard enough. Of course you mean you're too easy on yourself. You don't have to put some weird sexual connotation on it. Let me pour you a cup of coffee and indulge you and tell you something about the Leo Huckstep I know. Please, don't make me try to like myself. Leo, do you remember the night that Cheyenne was heartlessly kicked off monster talent? I was so proud to know you. Not a lot of men would openly weep about the fortunes of a 14-year-old soprano. These things matter to me. I thought you said something about coffee. You made a commitment that night to say no to Wilson. You, sir, have never swerved from this commitment. Well, John, a man without commitment is like a... Think ye a moment about all I've been able to accomplish. Well, an original play for second graders running six days consecutively. You just don't do that without some kind of inner... Welcome back, Leo Hookstep. I mean, you really came back from... Well, what do you mean? Well, a, a minute ago, you were ready to give it all up to... I was fine. I think you're projecting just a little bit. No. You want to listen to playback? You're recording this? Uh, some of it. It's just on my phone. It's... Sure, rub it in. My phone doesn't. No, your phone probably does. but we haven't figured out how to do it. Oh, yeah. That's probably it. I guess I'm too stupid. That's to... what I'm talking about. You flip. You're up one second. You're down the next oh, second. I don't think I'm down at all. What makes you say that? Well, you, you are punishing yourself for not knowing how to eat. I know. I'm so stupid. We're in the playground. We're about six years old. Mm -hmm. You came over to me. I was, I was crying. I was clearly crying your eyes out. And you sat down next to me. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember what you handed me? Well, it was half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's right. Yeah. And you remember what I said? Vaguely. It's so much easier to put the jelly on the peanut butter. Remember what I said after you said that? What did you say? I said, "Is that a bag of chips?" What did I say? You said, "Would you like some?" Right. Do you remember what you said? You know what I'm remembering right now? What's that? That we really didn't meet till eighth grade. Who was? Was that just our imagination? Yeah, but so what? It, it's a great story that sort of bonds us together. I know why you're calling. So you've uh, thought this over. Uh, no, I'm, I'm prepared to do this right. This is a go. That is correct. We are a go. This event is happening. And then I never want to hear your voice again. And I'll find the second half of the cash in my P.O. box. You will tomorrow. We should hang up now. Yep. Next time on Explosion Bus. Before I forget, Mir Miriam, are you single? Yes. And you have how many children? None. We have to get seats right at the bar. Do I shout, are those real, or is that real? It depends on where you're pointing. You got some money? How much is it? It's 400 $400? Is Katie seeing anyone? Do you know? At this point, Katie is quite interested in me. I could never actually have feelings for you, even if I lived to be 100 years old. Uh, well, that's a start.